Reading my devotional, David and Goliath. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defeated. 1 Samuel 17, 45. David and Goliath. The classic story of big battling little and little coming out on top. The story of David and Goliath from the world's point of view finds no reason David should win. Goliath was bigger, stronger, had more experience. He had armor and a shield and spear. David had a sling and stones, but David knew that he had God on his side. And no sword, spear, or javelin had a chance against the Almighty God. So what does this mean for you? Plain talk. What tough things are you facing? From family problems to your own self-esteem. Come to the battle in the name of the Lord Almighty. Nothing can stand against that. Dear God, thanks for being on my side. I want to always live and fight in your name. Help me stay close to you. Amen. I did a reading of 1 Samuel 17 on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. The name of the YouTube channel is in the description of this video. I also have the link to my YouTube channel in the in my bio. So yeah, go check that out. Reading my devotional, praise him. I will praise you with my upright heart when I learn your righteous rules. Psalm 119.7 The Lord is deserving of so much praise. There is nothing that we have that he hasn't provided for us. Doesn't it make your heart sing to think of all the wonderful ways? He is so good to us. If we live by his law and make the good choice to follow him, we can praise him with an unburdened, pure heart. Ponder what it means to praise with an upright heart today. Father, I choose you. I praise you today because you are worthy of all the glory and honor. As I learn your righteous regulations, I will thank you by living as I should. Psalm 119.7 It is a choice to love God, isn't it? He doesn't force us into it. Instead, he leaves it up to us. We can opt to walk away, to follow our own path and forge our own way. Alone, afraid, and unsure, we can blaze a trail of our own. But we could choose instead to obey him in finding righteousness, joy, and life. We thank God for his righteousness by living according to his word. And when we do that, we are blessed. Thank you, God, for providing your word and your laws as a roadmap to living a righteous life. You are a righteous God, and I want to live for you. Can you understand the goodness of God's word?